everyone, Silly Elise Lady here. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. So today we're gonna talk about 10 things you wish you didn't know about head lice. Number one, once a female mates and becomes pregnant, she stays pregnant. Super gross, you kind of start to feel bad for her, but then you realize what she's doing on your head and you don't feel bad for her. Yes, I just said that. Sorry, not sorry. Number two, she lays seven to 10 eggs a day. So sometimes that laying takes place twice a day. Cut that in half, maybe a couple in the morning, a couple at night, seven to 10 eggs a day. Number three, lice have a tendency to camouflage with their surroundings. This makes them extremely hard for you to see them visually. They like to camouflage their eggs and they like to camouflage themselves with the hair. Number four, when lice lay their eggs, sometimes the female louse makes their eggs so sticky, not on purpose, but sometimes their eggs are so sticky that she actually lays herself to the eggs. Like I said again, this doesn't happen on purpose, but that's just how sticky her eggs actually are sometimes. So when we pull them out, that's why it's so difficult to get the eggs out. The eggs have to be pulled off by hand with a comb, cut out, or sometimes when the hair just falls out naturally. Those are the only ways that we can get the eggs out of the hair. Number five. Lice feed every two to three hours. They have to do this in order to survive. When I say feed, I mean feed off of the blood on your head. They do this every two to three hours. They suck the blood from your head. They take their saliva and then they place it in the hole where they just ate so that they can patch that hole up. That saliva is actually what causes the itching on 50% of people. That's initially what some people are reacting to at the beginning of an infestation. Number six, sometimes in some extreme cases, we actually see that people have scratched their heads so much that it causes open sores. Those open sores have led to staph infections because the fact that they actually have dirt from their fingernails that have gotten into those wounds that have caused infections. So remember, lice themselves don't cause the infection. It's from the dirt from underneath their fingernails, things like that, that are actually causing the infection. Number seven, an average lice infestation typically isn't noticed until about two to six weeks in. Can you imagine how many people you are around within a two to six week time period? how many people you've exposed within a two to six week time period, that's a lot of phone calls that you're gonna have to make telling people, hey, I gave you a hug, I have head lice. Number eight, head lice don't discriminate. A lot of times we get people in here saying, my daughter has red hair, she can't get head lice. My daughter has textured hair, she can't get head lice, he can't get head lice, he has short hair. Anybody can get head lice, no matter the type of hair they have, unless you are completely bald. I mean like Mr. Clean Shave Bald, that's the only time you can't get head lice. Other than that, anybody can get it. Number nine, according to the CDC, about six to 12 million kids ages three to 11 get head lice every year. That's ages three to 11, so what happens over ages three to 11 or under age three, you can probably safely bet that you can double that number. Our biggest clientele here in our clinic is teens to preteens and majority of their moms typically have head lice as well. Number 10, a little over 25 years ago, lice started building up a resistance to over-the-counter products with things such as permethrins in them. Then as things started coming along over the next several years, we've started to see almost a complete buildup and resistant to those products. Now people are going out buying those products and they're almost completely not working. Kind of a scary fact when you're dealing with head lice and horrible infestations using products that don't work. 
Those are just some of the facts that you wish you didn't know, but you probably should know about head lice. Thanks for joining in our channel. If you have any comments, don't forget to ask below. We're here to help. We hope you have a happy and lice-free day.